25 years ago, ASEAN was established to promote regional peace, stability, economic growth, social progress, and cultural development. To facilitate coordination among member countries, the ASEAN foreign ministers set up the ASEAN Secretariat in 1976, which was initially housed at the Department of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia in Jakarta. The late President of Indonesia, His Excellency Suharto, officiated the ASEAN Secretariat's new home in 1981. From an association of five members, ASEAN became a community with 10 member states. It has been able to foster deeper understanding, build trust, and forge partnerships to pursue common interests in the midst of diversity. The ASEAN community was finally launched on 31st December 2015. The aim is for the region to be a politically cohesive, economically integrated, and socially responsible community. Currently, it is proud to be one of the fastest growing consumer markets and biggest economies in the world. As the nerve center of ASEAN, and covering over 30 sectors in political security, economic and socio-cultural cooperation, the ASEAN Secretariat required more space and facilities to fulfill the increasing needs of collaboration within ASEAN and between ASEAN and external partners. Through the generosity of the Indonesian government, the ASEAN Secretariat moved to a new building in August 2019 during ASEAN's 52nd anniversary. Just like the rest of the world, ASEAN was hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time in its history, the region's economy contracted. COVID-19, however, was also an opportunity for ASEAN to galvanize its solidarity by working together to overcome the pandemic and to build back better. Riding on multilateralism and the various cooperation frameworks that ASEAN has established with external partners, ASEAN is well poised to seize economic growth post-COVID-19, anchored on a strong commitment for collective and long-term recovery strategy. As ASEAN celebrates its 55th anniversary, we thank Cambodia for its able chairmanship in 2022, while we look forward to Indonesia's chairmanship in 2023 to remain a beacon of light for an open, rules-based, globally connected community that is agile and resilient in addressing challenges together and able to seize opportunities in the evolving regional and global environments.